Now that we have created our whiteboard, let's see how we can write on the same. In order to do that, we need this hardware. Uh, this piece of hardware is referred to as a graphics tablet. It's very popular with uh, artists but teachers can also use it to do the normal writing because it comes with a digital pen. This digital pen is actually a mouse with all the buttons of a mouse but now you hold it as you would hold a whiteboard marker or maybe a piece of chalk and write on the on the whiteboard or on the blackboard. Now it is very simple to use because it's it just comes with uh, a cable uh, which you connect to this part and then the other one you connect to the to one of the USB ports of your computer. It is just as simple as that. I'm going to prepare a video on how I show you how the connections are done. But if you're familiar with this kind of uh, gadgets, then it is really very simple to do the connections because all you do is just connect this part to the USB port of your computer. And now you are set to do uh, the writing. During the installation of this graphics tablet, it identifies whether you are right-handed or left-handed. So, since I'm right-handed, I have configured it in such a way that I'll be writing with my right hand. Now, when you look at the graphics tablet, uh, it's got uh, some marks here. There is a mark here, there is another mark here, another one here, and another one here. Uh, these marks actually signify the area where you are going to do the writing. Let's go to our whiteboard and then we'll be able to see these features as I'm talking about them. So in order to write on the whiteboard, you have to go to slideshow, slideshow, and I'll go to the current slide there. And you can see now the, my blue board fills the whole screen. And this is what I want to do. Now there are two ways in which you can do the writing. At this point, at this corner of your PowerPoint slide, you will see this pencil icon here. So just click on that and you're going to choose the pen and then go back to it and now choose the color of the pen which you want. Now we want to choose a color which, which contrasts with that blue background. So I can either choose white or maybe even this color or any other color of your choice. For me, I want to choose white or gray because I don't want it to be the contrast to be very high so I'm going to choose this color here and the moment you click it now you will see a dot on the screen that dot is actually the pen so the moment I get hold of my pen and I make sure that now my mouse is far away from the graphics tablet because if it is very near to the graphics tablet there will be a conflict between the mouse the, the mouse that I'm using on the computer and uh, this other pen that comes with the graphics tablet. Since I don't want that conflict, I just push the mouse slightly away from the graphics tablet. So if, if the mouse is very near, there'll be some kind of conflict and there'll be a problem. You can see that when I move the mouse, the, the pen is moving there. As well as when I move the pen, you can see it's also moving. So I don't want it to move because I'm moving the mouse. So I just make sure that the mouse is far away from the graphics tablet. And now I'm set to write. I can now write anything I want on any part of the screen. Now I want to go back to this max here. When I'm at this corner, you can see that the cursor goes all the way up to the corner of my screen. When I come to this other mark here on the graphics tablet, it goes to the topmost part and over here also. That tells me that this is the area on the graphics tablet where I can do the writing. If I do the writing outside that, it will not be seen on the board. So that one is important to note that. Now, you can see that when I write anything on this, um, on this board, let me just write the word graphics. Graphics. Now, you will observe that there are no writing on the tablet itself. Just go to the tablet, uh, look at the video that I have for the tablet. You can see there are no writings 
on it. The, the writings appear on the blackboard over here. Whatever I do on the graphics tablet, be it maybe want to draw anything on the board, I just need to draw it on this um, graphics tablet and it appears exactly on the board. Now, how do I achieve to do that? Because anytime you write down something on paper, you must be looking on at that paper. Now, this is the skill. Number one, you look at the edge of this graphics tablet. You see this edge here? It should be parallel to your monitor. That is your computer monitor. You should be parallel to it. Or wherever you have your, if you're using your laptop, then it should be parallel to the front edge of your laptop. You can even put it in such a way that they are next to each other. They're just adjacent. That one is very important so that as you write here horizontally, it also appears horizontal on the board. It's very important because if you put it at an angle like that and you write like that, you may find that as I'm writing horizontally, for me it may be horizontal, but the writing on the board is not horizontal. So just ensure that the graphics tablet is parallel to your monitor like that and you are set now to do all the writing that you need. The other thing is this. You just need to look at the pen on the board. You keep your eyes on this pen that you have on the board. And once you keep your eye on the board, you, you will be able to identify the position of the pen on the board because that is the, the most important part. Observe that when I keep my eyes on the graphics tablet, I can't know what I am doing. But when I keep my eyes on uh, this board, then I can be able to see what I'm writing down. And this is the, the only skill that you need. If, for instance, you need to quit, you just need to uh, come here and quit uh, the, the slideshow like that you will be prompted to keep this inking. This writing that you've done here, you will be prom prompted. Do you want to keep your ink uh, annotations? Of course, I'd like to keep it because maybe I want to go back to the lesson and see what I wrote down. But if it is not so important, you can discard that. Remember that. So if you keep it, it's going to appear among one of, the, of your slides. So in this case, I just want to discard it because I don't think it is so important. So this is what I would recommend. You get this uh, graphics tablet. Uh, the one I'm using is, is uh, a very simple one manufactured by a company called uh, Wacom. Wacom. Uh, it ma manufactures this graphics tablet and they are very good. Like I said, they are used, used by artists and um, graphic designers but as teachers we could also use that pen aspect because it allows us to write and you know the business of teachers is to uh, to teach and one of the tools they use is a pen and a paper or maybe a marker and a whiteboard so this pen here this digital pen is your marker and the whiteboard is the powerpoint slide which i've already shown you how to make and that is how you would be able to use the graphics tablet to write on the whiteboard.